Sam Smyers here. Today, I wanna to show you how to remake Turn Back Time by Diplo in Sunny Federa. This is a sample of what we're gonna to make today. So let's go ahead and jump into the video. All right, everyone, welcome back to the channel. And if you are new here, please consider giving this video a like and subscribing to the channel because that will help you stay updated with future videos that are just like this. Let's go ahead and look at the session and I'll play the track. Now that is my remake. Let's go ahead and dive in how I remade it. Let's jump into the piano first. I'll zoom in and we'll check out the piano. Here's the piano. Let's go ahead and solo that. Let's go ahead and jump into contact. For contact, I'm using the gentleman piano. I have the tone set all the way at hard because that gives that nice and bright piano sound. If I had it at soft, it would sound really soft like that, but I have it at hard to give me this sound. And let's open up the MIDI here. That is a MIDI. You can see this last part, I add some more bass down here. It starts out playing these notes as whole notes, and then it starts playing the rhythm as we get into the track. On the piano, I have the compressor. I have an EQ8 rolling off some of the low end, and then I just have some light concert hall. And that's all that I have for that piano. Next, let's go over these bells here. These bells are panning back and forth, and he has them in the drop and also in the build. They're really quiet in the build and they start to rise up as it gets into the drop. And I'll show you what I've done there. I'll open up my automation menu and show you that I'm actually panning these back and forth. To do this type of automation, you can always just right click and then insert a shape and that'll allow you to easily insert this automation here and then you can duplicate it across the entire track. And I'm doing that with the utility plugin. Let's go ahead and listen to it without these effects here. I'll mute these. That's what it sounds like by itself. It's just a Celesta. If I go into contact, that's all it is in here. It is a Celesta. And then I add these effects to make it sound more like how it sounds in the song. And then I automate some of the volume there. And then I bring it back in during the drop. Next, let's go to the bass. Here is the bass here for that build. With the piano. Let's take a look at the preset I used. It is this Z bass. I did some processing to it to get it to fit in the mix. Here it is without the processing. It's actually supposed to be a very bright bass, but I rolled off all of the top end to give me that low mid-rangey sounding bass sound. And 
and then I have a compressor here. And this would be the side chain. I don't have a kick going on right now. I can go ahead and set it to the kick, but there's no kick in this section, so I don't really need it. And then I just have the utility plugin taking down some of the gain. And then down here, we've got the effects. I have a white noise riser and a snare riser. By itself, here's the snare. And then here's the white noise. Then we have the claps. Let's check out the claps. Rolling off some low end of the claps, and then right before it gets into the drop, I add some reverb to one of the claps here. That's just 100% reverb. I have the ballad reverb using the stock reverb plugin there and rolling off some low end. And all together, let's go ahead and play that section again. That's it for that section before the drop. Let's now get into the drop. Let's listen to the drums. I'll solo all the drums. We've got the kick here. For the kick, I have a high kick where I'm rolling off the low end and using the high end of that kick to add the top end. Then I have the low end. I label that kick low. That is adding a lot of the low end oomph to the track together. Let's listen to our hi-hats here. For house music, it's especially nice if you can layer your hats and percussion. You can find a lot of top loops if you go on splice. And that's what I did here. I have this one hat, which is going to be in the center. That's going to be really in the center of the mix. And then I have this hat here, which gives me a little more width. It sounds a bit more natural. And then I have this hat here, which is just going to be every 16th note. and there's nothing on there. Let's go ahead and check out all of those hats together. The hats and the kick. And then we have the clap from the verse section. And then I layer that with another clap, which I add some reverb and then I put it into mono so that I get this reverby clap in the middle of the mix. Now the drums all together. And then of course you've got to add some reverse crashes. Here's a reverse crash. I just have that on mono with the utility plugin and then the crash. And once again, putting that into mono with the utility plugin. Let's now jump into the bass. For the bass, I used Ableton's operator. The sound that I used is actually a FM bass sound. I have another video on how I made this sound, and I'll put a link to that video in the video description below. Let's solo the bass sound. I'll show you the MIDI here. And then we have the operator plugin. It is an FM bass sound. I'm adding some saturation and then the EQ, which I'm rolling off some of the low end to allow that low end to come through from the kick. On the bass group, I have the sidechain compressor here. To make sure we're ducking that bass whenever that kick hits. And that's all that is really in that first section of the drop. And then he brings in some more atmospheres here. We have that bell sound from that verse and then some strings. Let me go ahead and play you the strings here. Yeah. 
you can use contact to make a string sound and play a single note very high up and that will add that tension in the track or you could use another synth i used a m1 synth to make these sounds here and then we have that bell pan and then i have this other bell hit here that is going to be serum it's a preset from my serum preset pack and i'll put a link to download that pack in the video description below if you want to check that out i add some saturation eq and then i add some reverb and that's it let's go ahead and play all those instruments together and then in the original track i felt like there was some atmosphere in the background where i heard bird sounds so i put this background track with bird sounds in it. And I filtered off a lot of that low end because it's actually really noisy. And I'm just allowing some of that high end to hear those birds coming through and then I put it in mono. And let's hear all that together. There you have it. That is how you make Turn Back Time by Diplo and Sonny Federa. If you want to grab this session, I'll put it in the video description below if you comment on the video. So please go ahead and comment and like it and subscribe to my channel because that will help you stay updated with future videos that are just like this. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.